Today we're in Wilmot, Ohio, standing outside of the Amish Door restaurant. Now we've heard a lot of good things about this place. We're about ready to head in and check it out. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. We're going to check out the menu, but look, before I can even read the menu, they brought us some rolls. Those look good. They do. So we are at the Amish Door Village at the Amish Door Restaurant. So here we go. We've got the soup and salad. Got a salad bar, all you can eat, $11.99. One trip for $9.49. We have that. I'm going to go over here to the sandwiches. And we have this big hamburger, which is our signature hamburger for $11.99. It has onion rings and bacon and barbecue sauce on it. There's your hamburgers, your sliders, roast beef, chicken tender sandwich. There's trail bologna. You know I like that. And a fish sandwich and a cod. And we have some dinners up here. Let's look at the chicken. There's their world famous roasted chicken. You get it all kind of different ways there. You got your broiled chicken breast dinner, chicken tenders. There's your beef, you got some roast beef, you got some meatloaf for $13.99, some sirloin, and some turkey. Now the turkey is not on the buffet. There's some pork, slow roasted pork, pork chops, got a little bit of seafood here, got a battered cob, and you have some family style dinners. That's where they bring a bunch of plates to you table and you guys all share out of them. There's all that and there's the best of the Amish door. There's your side dishes. A bunch of different ones of those. And if you don't want to get the buffet you can just get this taste of the Amish country for $16.99. It has a chicken roast beef and ham but for only 50 cents more you might as well get the buffet. There's your beverages. And there are your homemade desserts. Got a buggy trail sundae. A date nut pudding, that sounds good. I've never had it, that sounds good. And some pies. And apple dumplings. Okay, so we got the buffet, which is $17.49. You have to sanitize your hands up there, they have stuff, and then you put your gloves on. Okay, we're gonna head up and see what all they have. Let's go check it out. They have mashed potatoes. It's kind of like chicken, it looks like this pasta. That's what it looks like to me, for sure. There's our noodles we like so well. Stuffing, some gravy, some corn back here, some green beans, some ham. I get some ham. There's your roast beef. We have some chicken. Chicken looks good. Big beans and some that apple crisp back there, isn't it? That looks good. Yeah, it all looks good in there. You can see from back here, there is a lot of room back here to eat. This place must get busy. Let's go back and see how big it is back here. This place is huge. Must do some pretty good business. All right, let's go up and uh, check out the salad bar. There we have some salad. Got some mushrooms, banana peppers, and some onions. Cucumbers look good. Some eggs and some bacon bits. I think that's cranberries, dried cranberries, but I'm not sure. Got some cheese. And you got some red and green peppers with tomatoes, cauliflower, and oh, you got some onions on there that way. I've never seen that done that way. I like those. I've never seen that on a buffet. You got some dressings. You got some creamy Parmesan dressing. And the 
got some beets, cottage cheese, a macaroni and potato salad, some apples cut up, eggs, got some anti-pasta salad, some cold slaw, some mixed bean salad, some ham. I'm not quite sure what that is over there, but this next to it is apple butter, some applesauce, and another dessert. The dessert looks good. Found out what this was. This is kidney bean salad. Never heard of it. And the dessert is graham cracker pudding. Yep, yep. Nice and neat. So I'm going to get my plate and we'll go back and try some of this. And if I'd have looked up, I would have seen that you can buy some of this stuff in their bakery. Right there, there's a three bean salad and the kidney bean salad and the pudding. So if you like this stuff that well, you can take it home with you. Here is my first trip to the buffet. Let's look at it. Looks tasty. And there are the rolls. And there's what Bobby got. So Bobby, go ahead and commence the eating. <laughs> when she brought these out, these were really hot. You can tell those are homemade. Just look at that. So we'll try just a little bit of butter on them. Just a little bit. I got, got apple butter up there, too. And they got your peanut butter, oh. too, that you like. Well, I'm going to have to try some of that. There it is. It's really soft. You can tell these are fresh. They look fresh. Homemade. Very good. All right, I got some chicken. What did you say this was? She told me that was Alfredo. We didn't know what it was when we looked at it. Yeah, I wasn't sure because there's uh, no signs. I had to the ask her. Time. Yeah, there's no signs. This is chicken Alfredo. I, mean, thank I like you. that. I can taste a lot of that. I can taste the chicken. Maybe some red peppers in that. She's she got a really good. In okay, it. I can taste it. Really good flavor. I'm going to try this roast beef because John's got chicken, so we'll let him do the chicken. It looks good. Yes, it does. It's real tender. It's real juicy. I like it. What about the mashed potatoes? Okay, I'll try them. I think these are homemade, I'm sure, don't you think? Like everything here is supposed to be homemade. There's your gravy. These are definitely homemade. You can taste the creaminess, the butter, and the milk in it. Really good. Okay. Check John's out. Check it out. I want to try this ham first. Yeah. You always like ham. Yeah. Almost ordered ham dinner. Has a great flavor to it. I like that. Try a little bit of stuffing without making a mess. It's good. It's real moist. It's real moist stuffing. It's not dried out or anything. It's real moist. It's good. Cause sometimes stuffing can be dry, especially on a buffet. Yeah. Some green beans. It's got a great flavor to it. I like those. But you gotta try the Try the chicken. Shit. Really good. good. Yep. Thank you. Let's just take it apart. How's that look? Mm. Crunchy. Real moist. How's the skin? It's, it's, it's crunchy. Crunchy, yeah. Better than KFC. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's good chicken. You did a good job of it. Okay, you're gonna try the noodles too. Yeah. Can't go wrong with noodles. I get them every time I go up here. And we're here about almost 2 o'clock 
not yeah. too, not too busy. Good time to come. It yeah, looks like it's really good time is, to come. I showed you earlier. This place is huge, so this would be a good time to come. Yeah, if you, you want to avoid the crowd. I'm gonna try the Amish door village peanut butter that is made right here. Just, just squeeze it on there. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Look at that. That's a lot. That, that's, that's a, a lot of peanut butter. That's a lot of peanut butter. Because that's really, I think, sweeter than yeah, most here we peanut go. butter. Here we go. Well, like I always say, this peanut butter is like eating candy. It's totally different than the other peanut butter. It's addictive, but probably not good for you. We went back up. This time, got all salads. I had to get some of these onions. I've never seen them on a buffet. Got some pasta salad. Yeah, I like that they put the onions. Yeah, that was nice. Bobby got a couple. A couple different Bobby. things. Bobby got the kidney bean salad that we saw was sold next door in the bakery and the three bean salad because I won't eat them. So she said she would try them. Yeah, I'll try them. I'm not a big fan of red kidney beans, but I will try them since they sell them here. Yep. Take, would you take them home? They're not bad. I think some people would like them. I mean, if you like kidney beans. I probably wouldn't take them home just because I'm not a fan of them. I wouldn't eat a lot of them, but they do taste good. Okay, try to get you a couple different beans. There you go. The carrot. All right. Oh, this I'd probably like. Okay. Because it's more green beans and different things. That's good. It's like a vinegar base on there. It's refreshing. Like for a summer, like a hot day, I would get this. Okay, you would get that. Mm -hmm. All right. As I've tried everything on this plate, and I really like this potato salad. Potato, it's all good. But potato salad's my favorite. But I love how they chopped up this lettuce. I do too. It's real fine. Yeah, yeah, it's real fine. It's easy to eat. Plenty of toppings up there. I like this pasta. Some salads too. Don't just get me. <laughs> Desserts. We have their graham cracker pudding. Some apple crisp, but not sure what that is. Let's try some of this. Let's get some of all three. It's fluffy. You can only really taste the graham so cracker okay. crumbs in it. Yeah. What is this? Tapioca. Tapioca. Oh, okay. I can figure out what you. it was. <laughs> now we it's know tapioca. what it is. Oh, apple crisp. This is cinnamon. Make a little crunch to it. Vanilla ice cream would be good with that. Wouldn't, wouldn't it? Be? Tapioca. Tapioca. <laughs> no, no, no. We know. It's all right, but it's not something that I would probably get next time. That's why we only took a little bit. A little bit, wasn't sure what it was. Don't want to waste it. That's things. right. Here is the bill. We have the soda for $2.99, the two buffets for $17.49 for a grand total of $40.44. Great value. Everything was good and filled up and it was nice and clean up there. They kept that buffet clean. We'll walk in here and check out the bakery real quick. You're welcome. Whoopie pies. You like the whoopie pies? I do. Kind of stuff. Bite size. Kind of like those. I'd like to get one, but it's 90 degrees outside. I can't eat it right now. I don't know if it'll keep. Some pies in here. Apple pie. It's big. Fresh breads. There's strawberry pies back here. Buttercream. Some apple dumplings. Pepperoni bread. Pepperoni bread. Never had that. Let's go look over here. At the donuts. 
what's left. Miniature cheesecakes. Some cookies. Some different cookies, Bobby. It smells awesome in here. It does. There's a fry pies. Look at all those brownies. Yeah. And we got some different donuts over here. There's a pecan roll down there. Glazed donuts. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Those are big glazed donuts in there. I know, aren't they? Gigantic. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are big too. Try something in here, guys. I don't know what to get. Oh, I don't know. Pick something out, Bobby. <laughs> we have some fudge. Too much stuff. There they are. I'm making it back there. Came out of the bakery. We had to buy something. Bought an eclair, didn't we? Yeah, a little mini eclair. Yeah, we just got done eating, so there's not a lot more we could eat. Maybe after we eat that little eclair we should ride these to uh let's bike this double cedar i think we could do that uh, i don't know we could try we could steer it this is a whole complex here you have a market over there and you have a hotel and a restaurant it's kind of off the beaten path it's a few miles out of sugar creek and walnut creek but it's worth the visit huh bobby yeah it really is so it's the amish village or the Amish Door Village, the whole complex is called. So you might want to check this out. Look at that. You can get done eating. You can sit on the porch. Check out the countryside. Great experience at the Amish Door Village at the Amish Door Restaurant. What did you think about it? I liked it. It was really nice and clean. Um, the la the waitress was really friendly. Mm, real friendly. It wasn't real crowded in there today because of the time that mm -hmm. we came. So that was really nice. You could get up there and not be in a big crowd. But the food was excellent. A lot of different things to choose from. But I would have to say my favorite were those homemade rolls. They were good. They were good with peanut butter on them. Everything tasted good. And you're right. They kept the place neat. Good atmosphere in there. Great bakery. If you got any room after you leave here from eating. I don't know if you have much room. But you can swing in and try it. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J, J and B have, have left, left the building. building. coverage show the eclair little this tiny, tiny bakery this is all we could really even eat we're going to share this mm -hmm. so john i'll give you the honors <laughs> there it is guys mm. what kind of icing on the side chocolate isn't it no mm -mm. is it pudding can't tell <laughs> you can't tell i think there'll be pudding in there take a bite and see Yeah. Or is it a long john? Is there pudding in it? There is a little bit of pudding in there because it's an eclair. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is pudding. I didn't get the pudding in my first bite. I got it in mine. That's because you took the end bite. Maybe that's why I gave it to you first. <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> Auto choices in there. We had to get some. It all looked too good. Could have got some fudge. Too much. Yeah, we were just too full. Too so full. check out the bakery. Check it out. Right over there. Is the hotel maybe sometime we'll come back and we'll do a vlog from the hotel and we'll show this whole complex again <laughs>